What's going on guys, this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to be doing my top 30 best Cydia tweaks of the year 2012. I'll be going over each Cydia tweak very briefly, and some Cydia tweaks will support iOS 6, but most will support iOS 5.1.1. If you want to check out more Cydia tweaks, you can go ahead and watch my playlist of the best Cydia tweaks of each month during the past year. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I'm going to show you is called Custom NC Background. Now basically I'm going to go into Settings, and here I can choose an image to set as my background image for my Notification Center. So I'm going to choose this image and go into Notification Center, and as you can see, I have a custom background image, which looks really nice. So that was Custom NC Background. The next one is a combination tweak of two city tweaks, they are Overflow and Infinidoc. So basically, Infinidoc allows you to have more icons in your dock, and Overflow creates this really nice looking cover flow effect. So I'm going to go into Settings, Infinidoc, I can choose how many icons on my dock, and go into Overflow, just enable it, and now I can have this really nice looking effect in my dock. So that was Overflow and Infinidoc. The so next one is called Zephyr. Now this tweak gives you some really nice features for multitasking. So I can choose how many fingers I can swipe through different apps in my multitasking switcher. So I can just use three fingers and I can go into my next application in my multitasking switcher as you can see. So three fingers and swipe again. I can also swipe back to the previous page Another cool feature is that I can just basically swipe up from the bottom to close the application, which is pretty convenient. If your home button doesn't work, this can become a pretty useful tweak for you. The next one is called Zeppelin. As you can see, I have this really cool icon on my status bar. That was the Batman icon, and I can change it to a lot of different other icons, for example, Android, Apple, um, Batman, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Nike, Pac-Man, really simple and nice tweak, that was Zeppelin. The next one is called Imperium. Now this is an alternative to your multitasking switcher. As you can see, here are my background running apps. And I can scroll right to see my system settings, a uh, bunch of toggles, and here are some application shortcuts. And I can scroll right one more time to see all my applications. And here are my music controls. So I can play a song, pause a song, go to the next song. Uh, pretty useful sometimes. And that was Imperium. The next one is called Deck. Now this is quite similar to SB settings or the one that I showed you before, Imperium. But in my opinion, it looks nicer. It looks like it's native in iOS. Basically what this allows you to do is that you get a lot of different toggles, options, and settings here. You can change brightness, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever you want. Basically it's like the settings application in here. I find this extremely useful and that was DEC. The next one is called Icon Rotator. As the name says, this rotates your icon really smoothly. So I can just tilt or rotate my device and all my icons rotate with it. It's really smooth and that was Icon Rotator, a very simple Cydia tweak. The next one is called Badge Remover. As you can see, I have many badges on my different icons on my homepage. And all I have to do is just go into Settings and enable it, respring my device, and all my badges on my icons are gone. And now my homepage looks a lot cleaner. And that was Badge Remover. The next tweak is called Stride. Just go into Settings and enable it. Here you can choose your password. Basically this allows you to draw your password. And I'm just going to draw a K here. You have to do it three times to ensure it's secure. Now I'm just going to go to my lock screen. And I can just draw my password. So that was Stride. The next one is called Arrow. This is another switcher tweak. And it basically changes how your switcher bar looks. Here you can choose a lot of different animation for this tweak. So this is the time machine effect and I can choose a lot of other animations. So that was Arrow. The next one is called NC Settings. Basically this allows you to have a really nice widget in your notification center. This is quite similar to SB Settings which is quite popular. Well this is also pretty popular. 
um, this basically gives you a lot of different toggles and a lot of different settings. For example, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, uh, rotation lock, and a lot more. So that was NC settings. The next one is called Card Switcher. Yep, this is another switcher bar tweak. Basically, this shows different pages of your previously viewed applications. And as you can see, here is my settings application. I can go ahead and close each application by tapping the X. And this is pretty much card switcher. I really like the interface. Looks really nice. The next one is called Swipe Dock. As you can see, I can just swipe down to hide my dock. And now my home pages are in full screen. I can go into settings and change the animation of... Um, when I swipe down and hiding the dock and this is rotate and zoom in so that was swipe dock The next one is called forecast very simple tweak. It just basically adds a widget on your lock screen I forgot to film this, but it also adds a widget in your notification center. So that was forecast the next tweak is called switcher land another simple tweak this basically allows you to multitask in landscape mode as you can see, I have all my icons in landscape mode and I can still access my music controls and other settings in my switcher bar. So that was switcher land. The next one is called swipe selection. In my notes application, I normally will have to uh, just do this. Use the magnifying glass to uh, go into certain letters. But now I can just swipe on the keyboard to go to the margins between each letter, which is quite useful and saves a lot of time. The next one is called Notes Enhancer. As you can see right above my keyboard, I have a few options here. So tap, enter, copy, color, font, and changing the size. So I'm just gonna type a few words here. I can just tap enter to go to the next line. Tap tab. And I can also copy text and change the color of the text and also changing the fonts. And the last option is to change the size of the text. You can change it to a really large size so it can be easier for you to read. So that was Notes Enhancer. The next one is called Now Now. Basically, you have to install the Google Search application and you can use an activation method to launch Google Search. And now you can use your voice to search whatever you want. It's quite similar to Siri. And if you don't have Siri on your older generation devices, this can be a great alternative. So that was now now. The next tweak is called browser chooser. Currently, I only have Safari as my browser. But if you have any other browsers like Google Chrome or Dolphin, you can select any other browsers as your default browser. So that was browser chooser. The next one is called clock wind. Basically, this allows you to speed up or slow down the animation on your device. So uh, I can change the animation speed to fairly fast, sonic fast. And as you can see my speed, the animation is almost instant. I can change it to mega slow or even slower. And as you can see, the animation is much slower. So that was clock wind. The next one is called dash. Now this tweak is from the same developer of deck, which was the tweak that I showed you in the beginning of the video. But basically, this allows you to have a different interface for a multitasking switch. So I can change the animation here. Uh, I can also set my activation method. So changing the animation to scrolling. And now I can essentially scroll right or left to access my multitasking applications. So that was Dash. The next one is called Mini Banners Pro. As you can see in my banner, notification is a lot smaller and I changed the text color and the background color. I can also adjust the pop-up animation, so from slide from left to right, and now my notifications will slide in. So that was Mini Banners Pro. The next one is called Display Candy. It's basically, this tweak allows you to have animation when you close or open applications. So I can choose animations here. So close and I'm going to choose cover effects. And now I'm going to close my application and open it to show you these animations. So as you can see, it does look pretty cool. There are a lot of selections of animations to choose from. So that was display candy. The next one is called Mission Board Pro. After choosing your activation method, you can just activate it and Mission Board Pro will pop up. 
So it shows all your multitasking background running applications. And when you scroll left, you can see your music player and also a bunch of toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, and changing your brightness. You can simply hold on to these pages of applications and delete them by tapping the red part. The next one is called Unfold. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to unlock my device. And this is the unlocking animation when I unlock it. So I'm going to go into settings and here I can change the number of slices and change if I want to fold vertically. So it also looks pretty nice. I can also change the unlocking text and I'm going to change it to more slices. And now it looks like a crumpled paper effect. So that was unfold. The next tweak is called Go Desk. Basically this tweak allows you to have a panoramic wallpaper on your device. You can use any picture and it will set that picture to the panoramic wallpaper mode. So when I scroll left and right, the wallpaper moves with my pages. A tweak similar to Android OS's wallpapers, that was Go Desk. The next tweak is called J Launcher. This gives you a music control right here when you activate it. And right below it, it has the brightness adjustment slider as well as the volume slider. On the right side, you get all the icons or all the applications that are running in the background. So these are the multitasking applications. You can simply delete them by holding onto them. So that was J Launcher. The next tweak is called Dashboard X. As you can see, I have a bunch of widgets on my home screen here. And this tweak basically allows you to add widgets on your home pages. All you have to do is tap and hold on to the home page, a blank home page, and you can add different new widgets. You can download widgets in Cydia. There are lots of selections of widgets to download from. So that was Dashboard X. The next tweak relates to Dashboard X. It's called Dash Tweet. Basically, this is a Twitter widget for Dashboard X. So uh, I can just tap here and type in my tweet. So if you're an avid Twitter user, this is going to be a really useful tweak for you. So uh, I'm just going to type I'm filming. Post this tweet, yes, and there it is. With Dashboard X, you can add notification center widgets. So this is NC settings, which I showed you uh, in the beginning of the video. I can also add the weather widget, so I can look at the forecast of the weather. The last tweak that I'm going to show you today is called OXO. This tweak just came out a few days ago. This tweak basically changes the appearance of your applications in your multitasking app switcher. If you want to delete an application here, all you have to do is just swipe down. And you can tap on the application to view them, obviously. And you can also hold on to one app and it will ask you if you want to delete all of the applications in the multitasking tray. So I'm just going to say yes. When you scroll left, you get the music control and you can tap here to go to the music app. Scroll left one more time. you can access your toggles so you get toggles like bluetooth wi-fi volume and brightness this tweak is really elegant and really well developed it seems like this is a native feature in ios so in my opinion this is one of the best city tweaks of the year 2012. thanks a lot for watching my top 30 best city tweaks of the year 2012. If you want to check out more videos, more Cydia tweaks, you can go ahead and watch my playlist of my best Cydia tweak of each month during the past year. So click on the playlist on the screen right now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.